What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the She's a Jet YouTube channel. I'm Danielle Cooper. I'm so excited, as you can see, for my leather chair. I meant to say that last week, but I got finally got my leather chair a few weeks ago, and I am in heaven. I love this bad boy. I'm not even showing you guys all that it does. It reclines, too. But let's not get off topic. So today, I'm going to piggyback off of... Jeez, I can't even get comfortable here. So today, I'm going to piggyback off of last week's discussion. So last week, we talked about five items that I think masculine presenting women need to remove from their closets. One of those items was the bow tie and suspender. We're not talking about bow ties and suspenders today, but we're talking about that shirt that you would tend to put under that, the Oxford shirt. To be honest, I can't remember the last time I wore an Oxford shirt, let alone purchase one. Then again, I think Shao actually recently made me an Oxford shirt that I haven't shot. As you can see, I'm, I'm, it's, not a, it's not a style shirt that I often think about. So let's talk about the different shirts that I think you need to add to your wardrobe. So I think that everybody should own a basic cotton pocketless dress shirt. I say pocketless because the pocket adds a little bit of a distraction, whereas a clean dress shirt is really sleek, it's a little bit more professional and business savvy. Those type of shirts definitely elevate your style. Although most of my shirts are custom made, I have bought a few shirts over the course of the year from Armani, Top Man, Express. I really do like Express because they offer a wide range of fits, like slim fit, extra slim, regular. But then there are also other outlets like ASOS, River Island. I mean, the list goes on and on. In addition to your traditional dress shirts, you also want some of those dress shirts that can be worn casually. This shirt, which you also see right here, is a shirt that I style more casually. So I tend to wear it with like jeans, trousers. Um, I also wear it with like, uh, some of my suit bottoms when I'm doing like a suit separate look, but it's definitely a more casual vibe. For one, as you can see right here, it's an oversized shirt, but it also has the two big pockets. So definitely look into getting a couple of shirts that are like a little bit more casual and feel, but still dressy because it, it, it adds to that level of like maturity and sophistication. Um, not to mention, I think I kind of look a little bit dapper when I'm wearing it. So for all of you guys that are going for that real dapper look, I would say to invest in some shirts that are dress, but can be worn dressed down. Another shirt that I think we all should add to our wardrobe is the denim shirt. If you can't tell by now via my Instagram, some of the videos I've done in the past, my blog posts, I love denim shirts. You have endless style options when it comes to denim shirts. You can do a denim on denim look. You can do a denim on suit look. You can do denim on shorts, denim on slacks, denim on denim on anything. Hell, you can even open up your denim and wear a t-shirt underneath, a sweater underneath. You can do literally anything with a denim shirt. And I highly recommend it because it's one of those shirts that is extremely versatile. Now, because I can't help myself, we have to jump back into some more dress shirts. A dress shirt that has become a favorite of mine is the tuxedo shirt. Now, traditionally, the tuxedo shirt is a shirt that you tend to see people wear to weddings, galas, or more formal settings. But as you can see here, I like to make the tuxedo shirt look a little bit more casual or chic. Casual chic, I guess, would be the right way to describe that. So like I have here, and I'm probably gonna be wearing most of the summer, I decided to take the tuxedo shirt down and just wear it with some trousers. And in my hand, which you can't see, but here's another example, is a denim shirt over the tuxedo shirt. So it's definitely a more casual vibe. It's something that you can wear, you know, again, with trousers like I did here. You can also wear it with some denim um, or chinos, slacks. You know, the possibilities there are endless as well, just because the tuxedo shirt is the focal point of the look. So everybody's gonna gravitate right to that shirt. And I think it's all about personal style. So there's no right or wrong to how you wear things. Now let's talk about one of my favorite shirts, which you guys have seen me wear in the past. I mean, you're definitely gonna see me wear a lot this spring and summer. And that is the short sleeve button up. I mean, it just gives me like James Dean vibes or like, old school 70 vibes. It's just something that's so vintage and dope about a short sleeve button up. And I have two styles of short sleeve button ups that I really like. There's the Gelberg shirt and then there's your traditional short sleeve button up. And I just think it's perfect for whether you're going to work, you know, you're having a casual day or weekend in the city, or if you're traveling and you're looking for some light textures to wear and pack on the go. I love a good short sleeve shirt. Some of my favorite places to shop them are ASOS, Top Man, 
River Island, Zara. But I'm not gonna lie, I like this jailbird shirt here. I tend to get them custom made as well, just because I want them to fit a certain way and you can't always get those looks off the rack. That's all I have for you all today. So please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video and also share with me what you guys want to learn more about. If you haven't done so, hit that bell below, turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel where I'm gonna be offering you guys more fashion tips, tutorials and how to's and some travel with my partner and I as we make our way around the world. So until next week, I love you guys. Peace.